Hey guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. I use the double fisherman's knot a lot in paracord crafting to make things adjustable, but I recently found a knot that's a lot better for that. It's called a Steve Door knot. Let's dive right in. So we'll get into how to tie this knot, but first let's compare them side by side. I've got a necklace here with an adjustable closure. You could use this on a bracelet or a necklace or any other way. Um, it's also really useful in any kind of jewelry making. It doesn't have to be paracord. So on this end, I have a barrel knot or half of a double fisherman's knot. And that has a nice low profile. The end sticking out here is parallel to our standing end. So it's nice because it won't get caught on things. Overall, a really nice looking knot. And on this end, we have the Steve door knot. This is most often used as a stopper knot, but we're adapting it to be used in this function. The tail end of this one does stick out perpendicular to the standing end, which isn't great for catching on things. So you'll just have to trim it down really nice and low. So what is nice about the Steve door knot is that if I pull this loop right here, it goes through to this cord. So then when I pull that tight, all that I'm doing is anchoring that loop securely around our short end. On the Double Fisherman's, that same cord just makes our knot constrict tighter and tighter. So that means when our paracord gets wet and shrinks, or if we've just used this necklace for a long time, these knots will freeze up and not adjust correctly. But that doesn't happen with the Steve or knot. So that's the main benefit. Let's get into how to tie it. All right, so I've got two cords in different colors so we can keep them both straight as we're tying it. Um, but this would most often be in a loop for a necklace or a bracelet or some other piece of jewelry or paracord project. So we'll start by tying the red one onto the blue. So we just want to have some good length on both ends of that. And then take our short end and fold it back on the blue. If we were making the barrel knot, we would start making these wraps towards the left side and then stick that end underneath all of our wraps. But for the Steve door knot, it's kind of the opposite of that. We still make our loop here with our short end right here and then wrap all of our cord around the ends, but we're gonna be wrapping back towards the right. So we'll do one wrap, two wraps, and on that third time around, we're gonna stick it through just this one loop. We'll pull both ends of that tight, and this one takes a little bit more work to dress as that middle wrap doesn't quite tighten down properly sometimes. So you just wanna take your time while doing that but in the end, it should look something like this. Just that little loop right there with our tail end going through. So for the other side, we'll do the same thing, except in reverse. So we'll make that little U, start wrapping towards the left around all of those cords. And then on our last time around, we just wanna stick that little end through that single blue loop and pull our ends tight. And that makes a nice adjustable knot. You can tighten this down however tight you want your, your retention to be. Um, this one's pretty loose right now, but pretty much wherever you decide to put it, that's where it's gonna stay. It's not gonna tighten down significantly after that. So even if you wet your paracord down um, so that it shrinks a little bit, you should have about the same level of retention and those knots aren't gonna freeze up. So that's the adjustable Steve door knot. This is a good alternative for using the Devil Fisherman's on your paracord projects to make them adjustable. If you're making this for kids or you work around heavy machinery, it's sometimes wise to put a breakaway knot on your lanyards or necklaces. We have a video on that, so check that out in the description. We'll also put that on the end screen. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.